It's jobs day. Everyone cares except those getting crushed by a stunningly strong Japanese yen. In 2012, Japan was a bug in search of a windshield. That, according to John Molden, yesterday the yen saw historic strength. Is leveraged speculators exited broken trades. Losses were taken. Mr. Malden is author of Thoughts from the Frontline. He synthesizes global economics with your fear of being or not being in the stock market. We're thrilled to have John with us this morning after yesterday's festivities. Is Abinomics working? No. I mean, it's working as good as it can. What he's got is he's got to basically take the one product in, in Japan that we don't want. We want their Sonys, we want their TVs, their cars, their machine tools. He wants to export deflation. And the only way they can export deflation, which nobody else wants, mm -hmm. is to trash the yen. The yen's going to 125, then it'll go to 150, then 200. Now, it got too far, too fast. People levered in, they jumped in. It was the easy trade. If you look at the underlying economics of what Abby's got to do, which is they are right. going to print money in a manner that will only make Bernanke jealous. Mm. <laughs> okay, they're going to print money at a much higher percent of GDP than we are. Phenomenally We know more. this affects South Korea. I would suggest as of yesterday afternoon, this begins to affect America. As we see them try to export deflation, do they export increasing joblessness to the United States? A little. The, the problem that uh, the rest of the world has that we don't have is the, not a lot of things that we make other than cars uh, in the United States is made in Japan. They make machine tools. Uh, they're competing more with Korea. They're competing more with Germany, especially Germany is uh, Germany much more affected by the United than the United States. Than, than the United States. Interesting. Now, certainly it's going to affect us. Uh, but they've got to, they've got a two-part problem. They've run out of the ability to borrow money at reasonable rates. They can't allow their uh, tenure to go much beyond 1%. If the tenure went to 2.2%, if that was their average, then that would take 80% of their revenues just to pay the taxes. Yeah. They can't do that. That's They're not a working model. So the only thing that's going to happen sometime over the next 12 to 18 months, maybe within six, the Bank of Japan will have to hit the bid. They will become the market for the JGB. Mm. When that happens, the printing presses are at and full tilt. The yen just right. keeps and going down. And the distinction here is how different the economics of Japan is from the United States. We can't compare and contrast. No, it Their doesn't work. With ours. No, but I, when you look, Dan Clifton, it's such an enormous policy effort, not just monetary policy from the third biggest economy in the world. That has implications for U.S. policy as well. That's right. But, you know, one thing I would say about Japan is that for the first time, ever they want to do a free trade agreement with the United States realizing they can't just devalue that they need to get into these trade agreements and the reason why they didn't want to do this is because they didn't want rice on, on American rice on on their on their kitchen tables we didn't want their trucks at our construction sites we've now come to an agreement we're going to figure that out so that should be able to help with some of these structures but look, at, look at the, the timing of what they're doing I'm, that's great I agree with part, you. pardon my cynicism yeah. okay we're going to take the end to 200 yeah. Well, and now we'll so take your rice. That's right. Okay, when it can't compete, I'm, I'm sorry. That's a little bit disingenuous. Um, they're willing to, to trade when they're going to take the terms of trade right through the floor. Excellent. But John, you're always known for some creative investing ideas. Last, a few months ago, you said you were buying Japanese mortgages. Uh, I'm actually, uh, I will be, I'm taking my mortgage, which I'm, I'm now the proud owner as of yesterday of a bouncing baby mortgage. Uh, and now I'm in the process of converting it into yen. Absolutely. I'm going to let Abe and Kuroda-san pay for half of my new apartment. <laughs> John Malden was. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. On yen dynamics, just a really some serious drama yesterday. Sarah, I thought your job on that. I know you were quoted in Business Insider. What an abrupt move yesterday. The biggest move that we saw since May 2010. And you can bet that the Japanese will be watching the dollar yen as we head into the U.S. jobs report at 8.30 a.m. Always a market mover. We've been telling us levered trade. He still thinks, though, it's going higher. Stronger dollar, weaker Japanese yen. Yeah. All the way to what did you say, John? 200? 200. 
No, five okay. year, five it's years. It's an inflammatory John Although Mulligan if you take a look at statement. stocks, they're holding up. Stocks, yeah. futures, S&P futures compared to yesterday where they really took a hit. Really, really important how uncorrelated it is. It's just about foreign exchange. This is margin clerks. Extent. This is margin clerks. Okay, I'll go with that.